results of our exclusive I-24 News election poll independently conducted by Sareed Research Services. Let's take a look at that. The blue and white party led by Benny Gantz and Yair Lapid, 33 seats projected in Parliament. Netanyahu's ruling Likud party with 27. That is a significant difference. Down there next, number three, Labor Party with eight projected seats. The new right with seven. The union of right-wing parties also with seven seats. A lot of ties there. United Torah Judaism, another ultra-religious party, seven seats. And the Arab parties together, Tal Hadash with seven. Let's take a look at that next one there. Kulanu, that center-right party led by Moshe Kahlon, six seats. Shas, the religious party with five. Merits, left-wing party with five. Another Arab party, uh, two of them together, Balad and Ram with four. And Moshe Feglin, the Hoot party, that right-wing libertarian party we just told you about with four right on the threshold. And these are some of the parties that didn't make it. Avigdor Levim and the former defense minister, Yisro Beitenu, they are out, according to this poll. And Gesher, the party of Orly Levy, Abu Kassis, also failing to make the threshold. But let's take a look then at what the projected possibilities are in actually forming a coalition. This is what matters. The Arab party is holding 11 seats. The center left with 46 combined projected seats in Israeli parliament. The right and religious over there on the right side of your screen, 59 projected seats. And the Zahut party, that is a wild card for projected seats in parliament. And that party is the one that could make all the difference in who is able to form a coalition. Remember, the magic number, 61 seats. That is the number that eventually one of these guys is going to need to get to to actually form a coalition. And uh, these results have to be worrying for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, because uh, he, at this time, does not have a guaranteed coalition. And uh, we can now, and we can see the result of this, that the blue and white party of Benny Gantz, they are celebrating uh, this result. They think that this gives them a path to the government. So you see there the flags waving. You see uh, it looks like a celebration at uh, Benny Gantz's Let's blue remember, and white party. Uh, we spoke to several people from that party over the course of the last few months. They all told us we need a significant lead over the Likud party. They, they kept a saying of five, seats. five or six seats. And let's take a look at that projection right there. Blue and white, Benny Gantz, 33 projected seats in parliament to Netanyahu's Likud with 27. And that is a significant difference. Now, remember, this is all coming in now. Final results are only going to be tomorrow. And as we have seen again and again in the past, all of this can change. Uh, Adi Sarid here, who conducted this poll, uh, talk to us a little bit. Talk to us uh, just briefly about what we're looking, just those two numbers, 33, 27. So to me, it looks like we've got a deadlock situation. Gantz would have to be very creative in order to utilize this advantage, advantage because as we've seen, even using the wild card, he would have to uh, recruit another party from the right wing right. to form a coalition of 61 members. Right, and that is the key thing to say yeah. there, because even though it looks like Benny Gantz is leading 33 to 7, 27 projected seats in parliament, that does not mean he can necessarily form a coalition. Our Elon Levy joining us again from Blue and White headquarters. Elon, what is the mood there now? Because five minutes sure makes quite a difference. Nurit, an extraordinary gasp here in the room where the results came out from the Channel 2 exit poll. 37 seats for blue and white, 33 for the Likud. An even bigger gasp when it turned out that Bennett and Shaked are not projected to make into the Knesset, neither Zahut, and an enormous gasp when the exit polls proved that the split will be 60-60. That would be a constitutional nightmare in Israel because it would seem no party gets the 61 recommendations they need to form a government and the president would have discretion now these are exit polls i understand the polls from the other uh, from the other uh, uh, channels are different but if those were the results well i can say we're not going to sleep for a very long time all right well alan we're talking about being deadlocked let's really take a look at that uh, let's put aside our exclusive i24 news election poll for a moment and take a look at the exit polls from three israeli channels channel 11 gantz 37 seats, Netanyahu, 36. Channel 12, Gantz with 37 seats, Netanyahu with 33. Israel's Channel 13, Gantz 36, Netanyahu 36. It cannot be closer than that. We are talking, Elon, about that deadlock you were just talking about, and that could mean that nobody has enough seats to actually form a government. 
It, exactly, and it really does matter. It really, really does matter which of those exit polls are right. Last time, they were all exactly spot on, give or take one seat. Here we're seeing very different results. Let's remember, Blue and White was insisting it needs to have a huge lead in order to have the moral legitimacy to form a government. Uh, but if those results prove that actually they're a dead heat, well, what happens if it's a dead heat and it's 60-60? Nareed, we just don't know. We've come straight on air before I've had a chance to have a look at all the results in detail. Believe me, we will be picking and unpicking the results and monitoring them as they come in throughout the night. Okay, Alan Levy there at Blue and White.